there and he had broken a, 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 a string on his big bass and it was hanging on loosey goosey off of his bass. But he, he was still slapping furiously on his remaining strings, but as he's slapping, there was blood, blood going everywhere, splatter, splatter, splatter. By the time I noticed it, it was already pooling on the floor. It was covering him and his base. It was all over his arms. And the, the, the girls, there were some girls right in front of him that had blood splatter on their face. Like, and I could see it every time he slapped it, they was hitting with blood. I'm thinking, oh my God, what happened? What happened is he broke a string and in the heat of battle to get it out of his way, just decided, well, I'm gonna rip this off with my bare hand. And it didn't, it didn't budge. Just gashed his finger down to the bone. It was just a, a gurgling, bloody piece of meat hanging off his finger. I found that out a bit later, but, but on stage, in the moment, we were playing the song Psycho Billy Freak Out, and you just heard it has breaks, right? So, I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna get us into this next break really quick, and then that's gonna be the end of the show because Jimbo's gonna bleed to death. So we hit the break, and everybody's like, the whole room went silent, everybody's like, and so I went over there and I said, I said, Henry, are you okay? And he ignored me, and he grabbed his bass and walked right in front of me, right by me, and he brought his big bass right in the center of the stage in the brightest light. And he took his base and he planted it like a flag on the North Pole. Then he held up his right hand that was glistening blood all the way to his dripping elbow in the lights. Then he made a cross in blood on his face like this. And I'm standing back behind him thinking, where is he going with all this? <laughs> and then he just looked back at me and he said, Go. And I knew what he meant, so I said, It's a psychobilly freak out and we got playing the game. Blood was going in. Have you ever seen the band Guar? Guar? Yeah. That's fake blood, but I digress. <laughs> but anyway, what we found out later is right behind the blood splatter girls standing right there were the two owners of what would become an important record label for the grunge rock era called Sub Pop Records. And we got a record deal off that gig. And Jimbo didn't bleed to death. Anyway, he's all the way from Louis Fabulous at Deer Park, Texas. You asked for that, okay? He's all the way from Deer Park, Texas. Yeah. Let's, let's welcome Nature Boy, Jimbo. You know, we didn't get that record deal because of the blood. We got it because of the songs, man. All right, let's go with the Jimbo song. Oh, yeah. 